going on, Responsible Day Traders? Today is Monday, April 24th, 2023. I am Lindsay Duff, and this is Responsible Day Trading. It has been a little bit of craziness around here this morning, really trying to get my mic to work. I did record this video, but uh, we're doing it again. So um, we are having this seminar this week. So if anybody would like to join, please reach out to us at the link above. We are going to have guest speakers. We're going to be talking about positive psychology. We're going to be talking about taxes and uh it should be a really great time so if you would like to join us or maybe just come have some drinks and um snacks with us thursday night more than welcome just reach out and we'll set you up with that um all right so i want to be kind of short and to the point because i've got a lot to take care of today so let's go ahead and go through the news and then we're going to go into what we're seeing in the market and we'll go from there Okay, so we're gonna start off by going to responsible day trading, then we're gonna go to news and to market news. Now we do have quite a bit of news coming out, but you know, it's all early in the morning. We have nothing today. Tomorrow we've got an hour before and half an hour after we've got some high impact news. Wednesday, we've got an hour before and an hour after. Thursday, we've got some pre-market an hour before and half an hour after the market opens and Friday an hour before. So hopefully this gets the market moving and gives us some stuff to work with because it has been moving extremely, extremely slow lately. And we're going to take a big look at that. First thing we want to do is we want to pull up the daily chart. So let's look at what's happening on the daily chart here. Now, something that's going on on this daily chart is we can see that the MACDs have rolled to the downside. They're purple. They're moving down now. They're not moving down with a lot of strength like we've seen back here in the past. So it may roll off of this bottom Bollinger Band and push up. One thing we want to be paying attention to is the fact that these are really, really weak at this time. And so are the Bollinger Bands. So this could just as easily break through the bottom Bollinger Band as it could roll off of it and continue to the top. Now we do have distance to travel back to the EMAs. So we've got um, you know, some areas that could create a bounce below us. But the fact of the matter is, is we did not cross that bottom Bollinger Band with any kind of strength. And we're just kind of sitting here hanging out, hanging out around all these closes that happened back here. It pushed up a little bit more and it's come back. Now, technically, you know, our direction is still to the upside on the daily chart. So, you know, the direction is up. If this continues and rolls off this bottom Bollinger Band and pushes up, then I'm definitely going to be looking for more up and hopefully see it break through this area. We've been really, really watching this area for quite some time. And if it breaks through it and gets back above these areas, I'm going to be really hopeful for it to continue up. We do really in the long run want to see it break above this last little high. But, you know, we can see what's happened is we've gone above and below and above and possibly back below all of the EMAs. But our direction is still up since we are above both of the EMAs and the zero line. And so until that shifts and changes and we get back below everything, our direction remains to the upside. So the next thing that we're going to look at is we're going to look at the 28657. So let me pull that up. Now on the 28,657, the direction is really making a run for the downside. We have pulled away from the EMAs with the bar here and we have closed back below that bar that pulled away from the EMAs. We haven't done it with a lot of strength, but we are back below the EMAs and back below the zero line. So the 28,657 has shifted its direction to the downside. Now, I mean, we had direction up here, direction down here, back up, back down, really made an attempt for direction back up. So, you know, we want to really pay attention to what it's doing because what we've noticed lately is we're getting a lot of reversal bar patterns just happening all over the place. So we really, really want to pay attention to what the MACDs are telling us at that time. Also with this little area right here, we had a really good indication that it was going to push back up because we could see we couldn't break through this bottom Bollinger Band really and couldn't make new lows in the MACDs whenever these price bars were pushing down really, really hard. So let's go ahead and head over to the trading charts. And guys, if you want to in situations like this, whenever you are seeing that these bars are really, really big and you're struggling with them, some suggestions that I have is to either 
make it just a little bit smaller of space between your trading chart and your bigger chart. Um, so you want to kind of bring it in just a little bit tighter. So you could possibly pull something like the 4181 and the 610 up, which will connect the charts in the way that you can see this yellow EMA here, the large EMA on the 610 is the smaller one on the 1597. And with this larger EMA on the 1597 is the smaller one on the 4181. So it kind of pulls everything in just a little bit tighter. Something else that I would suggest to consider if you're really, really struggling with how big these moves have been is to maybe even move over to where your 1597 is your trading chart and your 610 or your 1597 is your um, bigger chart and your 610 may become your trading chart at that time using the 233 to really, really keep things minimized. Now you'd still want to keep an eye on the bigger charts to see where the overall direction is but this may make it just a little bit easier and smooth things out for you a little more so that you can uh, take quicker, shorter trades. Um, what I mean by that is you know, when you're looking at these smaller charts, a lot of times what's going to happen is those trades aren't going to go quite as far, especially whenever we're seeing these really short bursts that we were seeing. Like up here, we saw really short bursts and the MACDs were leading lower each time. Now we can see down here, we're seeing really short bursts and the MACDs are attempting to lead higher each time. So this may push us back through to the upside. So if you're looking for a short trade, you may just want to be a little bit more cautious whenever uh, you're getting in. You want to make sure that your risk is in the proper place because with all of these pullbacks that are happening, it may make it easier to get stopped out. But for right now, we're just going to continue looking at the 10946, the 1597 and the 233 combo to um, just kind of run down what we're seeing happening here. So on the 10946, we have gotten back below the EMAs and back below the zero line. We've seen this happen quite a few times before and then push back above. So what we're going to want to see is possibly a pullback into the area, but these MACDs stay to the downside. Um, it may be a little bit difficult here. We're seeing everything just shift from one direction to the other. On the 1597 direction is to the downside. Also, we're back below the EMAs. We're back below the zero line, but we're really, really struggling to make new lows also in the MACDs here. Now, could it happen? It really could at this point. We're really, really weak at the zero line. Price bars are pushing down. We still have somewhat outside of the Bollinger Bands on the 10946, but I would just really show caution and not just jump into any of these trades because um, it kind of looks like it might go in the direction you want it to. On the 233, it had shifted the direction to the upside right about here, but uh, it's really struggling to stay to the upside at this point. So when the market first opened this morning, I was actually looking at the possibility of this really making the attempt to push back up as it was pulling back and showing this right in here. We knew we had a resistance area that had held quite a few times, as we can see the line drawn up in here. And we also had a lot of distance back to the EMAs, which could create that snapback and pull it back into it. Um, so right now, I mean, the direction on the 10946 and the 1597 are both to the downside. 233 is really making that attempt to go to the downside. We have EMAs opening up with some strength on the 1597. Um, we'd really want to see a follow through and a break through this bottom Bollinger Band in order to see this really, really push uh, more in that direction and feel comfortable taking those short trades. But just be aware if we are, we have these areas that have just held up so many times right in here. So if it starts to slow down and really look like it's going against your trade, don't hold just because you want it to work. You need to pay attention and listen to what the market's telling you. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up. Uh, this is my second time making this video, and I have very, very limited time today because we were having some microphone issues that just seemed to be getting worse. But I think having my smart uh guys over here know a lot more about microphones than i do i think i may be i think i may be fixed now so um guys i hope everybody has a wonderful week please make sure you're paying attention don't get yourself caught up in anything just because you want the market to go in your direction or you just saw one big push in that direction there's a lot of indecision happening right now 
volume is extremely, extremely low. We're seeing less and less bars being, um, we're seeing less and less bars developing on things like the 10946, which means volume's really, really low. So those swings could be kind of big and erratic. And I mean, it'll pick back up. It always does. That's part of it. I really think that it's important to learn how to trade or how to handle yourself in these situations as well. So while I say sit on your hands or sit out, it doesn't mean don't pay attention. It means pay attention and see what's going on so you can start seeing those patterns happening over and over again and know what to do in that particular situation. All right, that's going to be it, guys. I hope that everybody has a wonderful week. We look forward to seeing some of y'all out here at the seminar in a couple of days. And as always, you know that I look forward to catching you on the profitable side.